Hey guys, so here's another video. Um, I haven't made a video like this before, but this is going to be a video about the Kindle Fire. Um, so I just want to show you some things here. I'm logging in. So I found something really cool. And this is for all the students out there. So I'm a student, and what I find, what I found is um, that the Kindle Fire can read books. It can read articles, um, audio, and so there's a way you can do this. And I'll just show you how to set it up, and just try to show you quickly how to use it. It's honestly not the easiest thing to use. Um, so I'll try and explain it as best as I can, but, um, I just learned how to use it and it took me a while to even turn the function off. And so <laughs> I'll just show you what I know, basically. I think I'm still learning it, but it's pretty cool, uh, around finals time when you're just kind of tired and you have a whole lot of stuff to read. Sometimes if you have to drive around and stuff like that. You can just set your Kindle to read to you, and it's pretty awesome. So here we go. First things first, you want to pull down this top menu here, All right? So just drag down. You want to go over here to settings, and in your settings, you'll see down here there's accessibility. You want to click that, and when you go to accessibility, you want to go to screen reader and you have the option of turning it on or off. Here are, is the speed of the reading. Right now I have it set to three, which is a good speed. It's slow enough that you can hear it, but it's not so slow that it's just annoying to listen to. Uh, the voice isn't super robotic, so it's kind of nice. Um, you have screen reader volume, feedback, tone volume, and manage up and down gestures, as well as explore by touch and explore by touch tutorial. Um, that's a tutorial you can go to so that you can learn how to use it before you turn it on because in all honesty it's easy to turn on but it's kind of hard to turn off if you don't know how to use it properly. So I'm going to turn off this light because there's a glare. Um, there's still a glare but whatever. So I have my volume on here. Let me turn it up more. And you should be able to hear um, what the screen reader is saying because it talks and it reads everything on the screen pretty much. So I'm going to turn it on. Screen reader showing items one to seven of seven. So I was talking about these seven items here. This list here, these are seven items. So it's saying that it's showing one of seven. So you have options, um, and I'll show you on the main screen and just getting there to the home screen, you'll hear it talking. So navigation bar. You click it once, nothing happens really. If you wanna home button. So you click home. When it's highlighted like this, you have to double click on this if you want it to go back to the home screen. So I'll double click. Home button. Home. And now you see we're on home. So there's not much for it to really read here. There aren't any articles, nothing like that. But say for example I want to scroll, I can't scroll just by doing this anymore. Free time. Item four of four. Home page two of two. So if I want to scroll, I have to actually use two fingers two fingers scrolls right say I want to go to my books books button books these are my books. showing items 1 to 9 of 20 let's see something that's a free sample already so say I wanted to scroll on my books I can't just do this dealing with an addict what you need to know if someone you care for has a drug or alcohol problem on your device. 
reading is 85% complete. Item 4 of 20. So you notice it talks a lot, right? Um, again, if I want to scroll, I have to use two fingers. Two fingers. So we're going to go to this one because it's a free book. How to create a website that. So double click to Amazon open it. Kindle. Swipe two fingers down when menus are off for continuous reading. Tap once to switch from continuous to granular reading, then double tap per menu. Double tap and hold to select text. So that's a little bit complicated. As you can hear, there are a lot of different gestures and motions you have to do with your fingers in order for it to work, and you have to remember all of them every time you want to do something. And it, the functionality is a little different than it would have been if you weren't in this screen reading mode. And so basically you have to learn a different um, way of navigating when you're in this mode. Enjoy this sample. Loading books tour. Loading books tour. Kindle store. How to create a website that generates leads for your business. What you're with Kindle unlimited. Read for. Uh. Library. Books. How to. Amazon Kindle. Swipe two fingers down when menu. Okay, let's try this page. So it says swipe two fingers down if you want to read. So let's do a shorter page. So say I wanted to have it read this page. I can't just click. Page content. Step one. Learn yeah, website vocabulary. This section will help you to understand the jargon of the website creation and to easier understand this book. It will take you even further. By knowing this terminology, it will be much easier to deal with professionals, should you need to. But notice it only reads one page at a time. So if there were a next page, it doesn't just automatically continue to the next page. You have to swipe to the next page on your own which would be that one, but that one's not available. But you'd have to swipe Showing menu. on your own. This so, is overlays. This will start continuous reading mode. Button. So to turn it off, I'm just going to go back to Navigation the home screen. Navigation bar. But you don't really have to. So to get back to your settings, the important thing is you want to swipe with two fingers down because two fingers down it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but swipe with two fingers down. Notification shade. To bring this um, whole shade up again, right? And then you go back to settings. Settings. Click it once, then click twice. Settings. Settings. Then you have to go back to. to 13 of 16. Then you have to go back to accessibility. 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 Showing items 1 to 12 of 12. Then back to screen reader. Screen reader. Screen reader. Showing items 1 to 7 of 7. And then you have to turn it off. Screen reader is on. Provides spoken feedback when you touch item. Alert screen reader. The action you are attempting will result in screen reader being turned off. Cancel. Continue. So I'm going to cancel real quick just to show you some one other thing, right? So another feature cancel button. that's screen weird reader. when it's in screen reader mode is say I were to turn this off, right? And put the device to sleep. It still talks. Screen off. Right? Or say I were to plug it in to my... Um, you know, like a wall charger or something like that. It would tell you that um, this is on. 1.12 a.m. Right? So it's still talking. So just one, that's just something that's a little bit annoying. Edit box is editing. Enter pen. 
And notice that if I want to get back into the device when it's still in screen reader mode, I have to use two fingers to swipe over because 112. if I'm in this mode and I try to swipe like normal, Procter and Gamble, US. it Learn doesn't more. work. So you see it doesn't work when I do that. Slide left with two fingers to unlock. Right. Edit box is editing. Enter pen. One button. See. One thirteen. Screen off. And the reason why I just wanted to show you that is because if you're using it as a student, it might be a little bit awkward in class when you go to maybe pull up the book when the professor is talking to you and you have your Kindle just like reading everything on the screen when you're trying to turn it off and it's not like if it's new to you and it's not going to be quick or easy for you to turn off or turn the volume down or whatever it might be just a little odd having it just like talking and speaking and telling you that the screen is off and all those kinds of things so I would just advise that if you're going to take it to class with you probably turn off the screen reader function um so that's kind of all I really wanted to show um I hope this video was helpful I know it was helpful for me um and yeah, I hope I hope you can use it. I hope it's a good thing that you can use that you can kind of play around with and kind of learn and um, use actually to get your work done faster or you know if you're multitasking or just kind of trying to get through some stuff but you're like super tired and you just have a lot of stuff to read or have a book to read or if you're a slow reader or if you get distracted reading sometimes it is helpful just to pull out like something that does audio reading um i'll try and make another video about how to do this on the chromebook um it's kind of a different app but i'll try to i'll try to show you how to do that all right thanks for watching